Heavenly King, Advocate, Spirit of Truth, who are everywhere present, and kill all things, treasure of blessing, <clears throat> bestower of life, come and dwell within us, cleanse us of all that defiles us, and a good one to save our souls. Glory to God in the highest, to his people on earth, his peace and will Glory to God in the highest, to his people on earth. Blessed be the kingdom of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. For the peace from on high, for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. For peace throughout the world, for the well-being of God's holy churches, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. For this holy church and for all who entered with faith, reverence, and fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. For our most holy universe upon the Francis Pope of Rome, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our most blessed Majesty Bishop Sviatoslav Musram Metropolitan Lord, so God loved Bishop dead. The Reverend Priesthood, the Diaconate in Christ, and all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. For our nation under God, for our government, and for all the military, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. For this city, for every city and country, for the faith who live with them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the suffering travelers, for the sick and the suffering, for those held captive for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have mercy. For the servant of God, Don, and his blessed memory, and for the forgiveness of all his offenses, voluntary and involuntary, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we may be delivered from all tribulation, wrath, and misfortune, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help and save, have mercy and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our most holy and immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Mother of God and ever Virgin Mary, together with all the saints, let us commend ourselves to one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For you are God, uh, for all glory, honor, and worship befit you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. It is good to give praise to the Lord and to sing to your name, O Most High, through the prayers of the Mother of God, O Savior, save us, to announce your mercy in the morning and your truth every night, through the prayers of the Mother of God, O Savior, save us. For the Lord our God is righteous and there is no injustice in him, through the prayers of the Mother of God, O Savior, save us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Only begotten Son and Word of God, you are immortal, and you willed for our salvation to be made flesh of the Holy Mother of God and ever Virgin Mary. And without change you became man. You were crucified, O Christ our God, and trampled death by death. You are one of the Holy Trinity, glorified with the Father and the Holy Spirit, save us. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help and save, have mercy and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our most holy and immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Mother of God and ever Virgin Mary, together with all the saints, let us commend ourselves to one another in our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For you are a good and loving God, we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Remember us, O Lord, in your kingdom. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will show mercy. Blessed are the pure of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called sons of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when you insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil word against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. Wisdom, stand aright. 
Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, Son of God, risen from the saints. Save us, who sing to you, Alleluia. Remember your servants, O Lord, because of your goodness, and forgive all the sins they committed in life, for no one is sinless but you. You can give rest to the departed. With profound wisdom and love for mankind, you arrange all things and bestow beneficial things upon all, O only Creator and Lord. Grant rest to the souls of your servants, for they have placed their hope in you, O God, who made and shaped us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. To the souls of your servants, O Christ, grant rest among the saints, where there is no pain, no sorrow, no mourning, and only life without end, now and forever and ever. Amen. In you we have a rampart and a haven, and an intercessor most accessible to God, whom you bore, O Virgin Mother of God, salvation of the faithful. For you are God the Holy, if we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Let us be attentive, peace be with all wisdom. Let us be attentive. Their souls shall dwell in a happy place. To you, O Lord, I have lifted up my soul. To their souls shall dwell in a happy place. Wisdom. A reading from the letter to the Thessalonians. Let us be attentive. Brethren, we would have you be clear about those who sleep in death. Otherwise, you might yield to grief like those who have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose, God will bring forth with him from the dead those also who have fallen asleep, believing in him. We say to you as if the Lord himself had said it, that we who live who survive until his coming will in no way have an advantage over those who have fallen asleep. No, the Lord himself will come down from heaven at the word of command, at the sound of the archangel's voice and God's trumpet, and those who have died in Christ will rise first. Then we, the living, the survivors, will be caught up with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Thenceforth, we shall be with the Lord unceasingly. Peace be with the wisdom. Let us be attentive. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are they whom you have chosen and taken to yourself, O Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. And let their memory be from generation to generation. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Make the pure light of the divine knowledge shine in our hearts, O loving Master. Open the eyes of our minds that we may understand the message of the gospel. Instill in us the fear of your blessed commandments that we may subdue all carnal desires and follow a spiritual way of life, thinking and doing all that pleases you. For you, Christ, our God, and the enlightenment of our souls and bodies. If we give glory to you together with the eternal Father and the most holy, good, and life-giving spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Wisdom. Stand aright, let us listen to the Holy Gospel, be speak with all. And with bless you with spirit. your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory be to you, O Lord, glory be to you. Let us be attentive. At that time, Jesus went uh, with his disciples to a place called Gethsemane, and he said to his Disciples, sit here while I go uh, further and pray. And taking with him Peter and his two sons of Zebedee, he began to be sorrowful and troubled. He said to them, my soul is very sorrowful even to death. 
remain here, watch with me. And going a little further, he fell on his face and prayed, My father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as you will. And he came to his disciples and found them sleeping. And he said to Peter, So you could not watch with me one hour? Watch and pray that you may not enter into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Again, for the second time, he went away and prayed, My father, if this cannot pass unless I drink it, thy will be done. And again, he came and found them sleeping, for their eyes were heavy. So leaving them again, he went away and prayed for the third time, saying the same words. Then he came to the disciples and said to them, Are you still sleeping and taking your rest? Behold, the hour is at hand, and the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Rise, let us be going. See, my betrayer is at hand. Glory be to you, O Lord. Glory be to you. Please be seated. Uh, as I understand, right after liturgy, we will go into the cemetery, right? After liturgy, we're going to, uh, the, the would be, we going to the cemetery. So, yeah, the, the thing that we will do would be divine liturgy, short panacheda, and we're going to the cemetery. But thank you for everyone uh, who came to give us this last sign of respect and love for Don. Thank you for everyone who joined us in person in the church or online. There's one beautiful song that is written in our liturgical texts. It sounds this way. What earthly delight endures that is not mixed with grief? What earthly glory remains unchangeable? All things are less than a shadow, more deluding than a dream. In a single moment, all things are wiped out by death. But in the light of your face, O Christ, and the, in the enjoyment of your have on your beauty, grant rest to the one you have chosen, for you love mankind. Uh, these particular words were written by St. John Damascene in the 7th century. Yeah, he lived in Damascus. That is why he has the specific last name. But he wrote these hymns um, as expression of the personal deepest grief for the death of his close friend. We are praying today for Don. Perhaps during these few days uh, after he left us, we start to really realize how much we need him, how much we love him, and how much we actually miss him. And as similar to Christ, when he was in uh, this garden of olives, we feel lonely. The truth is, that each one of us has to go through this feeling of being left alone. Again, Christ was not an exception. As a son of God, he came to earth, took our human body, lived among us, so that through this total obedience to the will of the Father, he will save humankind. And again, he had 12 apostles, 72 lesser apostles. He had many followers. But when the passion came, he was totally alone. And no one stood near Christ when St. Candrine the at night condemned him to death. No one defended Jesus before Herod and Pilate. And Jesus carried his cross to Golgotha mostly by himself. At his crucifixion, only Mary and St. John were present. Uh, that is a great mystery here. As God would have it, he, he changed this. He took this cross upon himself. He died on it, and he transformed this. He made cross and death as he made cross as a remedy uh, for death. Cross right now is the instrument of our salvation, of our salvation even. Christ's death on the cross also is not something like temporal. It's not a temporal victory. It's an instrument of healing instrument of, uh, to get to heaven. And Christ entered death as a man and defeated is as God. 
because he is God and giver of life. And because we are his followers, we are Christians, we have to go through this as well. Through that, through death, through cross, we will rise again on the third day. Then we, when we speak about belief and God's love, we're speaking of something deeper than just intellectual or even spiritual acknowledgement of God. We are speaking of participation in his divine life. St. Peter refers to his epistle, he says, we are partakers of his divine nature in Saint, uh, let, second letter of, of Peter. As St. Paul speaks of us becoming sons by adoption, coheres with Christ through our participation in his life. In the human nature, Jesus redeemed us by his incarnation. So th that is by this way, that is why Christ referred to us as a new Adam. So dear brothers and sisters, this gospel reading brings us to one important truth. Suffering and death is something that every human being has to go through personally for a reason. Yes, we have to study a lot. We have to improve ourselves. We have to become a better version of ourselves every day. But without this reward, with us, without heaven, our daily efforts here on earth would be a joke. Simply, death is not the end of our existence. It is the transformation to eternal life. It is a new beginning. Like a caterpillar that turns to a butterfly, we also are changed by Christ's cross and resurrection. And Jesus offers and guarantees this eternal life to everyone. So the only way to get there let us repeat also the words that Jesus was saying in the Garden of Olives. Let not my, but your will be done. I saw then, Don, sorry, in the church quite often before he came very sick. He became very sick. Yeah, he was in church. He was praying to God a lot. Now he does not need faith. He sees him personally right now. As, as we Keep praying for him during this liturgy and keep him in, in your prayers later, of course. Let us say, dear Don, thank you for being with us. Thank you for your prayers, for your presence, for your work. But we are not saying to you goodbye. Rather, we say, see you in heaven. Pray for us. Amen. Slava Jesus Christ. Slava <clears throat> Let us all say with our whole soul and our whole mind, let us say, Lord, have mercy. Almighty Lord, God of our fathers, we pray, hear us and have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, in the greatest of your compassion. We pray, hear us and have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We also pray for most uh, holy universe upon the Francis Pope of Rome. Our most blessed may Judge Bishop Sivatuslam Musra Metropolitan Lawrence or God with Bishop David. For our very Reverend Fathers, Protor Hamadrat Genesio, Protumin Gabriel, the human seraphim, uh, for those who serve, have served in this holy church, for our spiritual fathers and for all our brethren in Christ. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. We also pray for our nation under God, for our government and for all the military. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. We also pray for the repose of the soul of the servant of God, Don, who has fallen asleep, and for the forgiveness of all his offenses, voluntary and involuntary. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We also pray for the people here present who await you granted bountiful mercies for those who have been kind to us and for all Orthodox Christians. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. For you are merciful and loving God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Again and again in peace, let us, the faithful, pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Wisdom, so that all is protected by your might, we may give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Let us who mystically represent the cherubim and sing the thrice holy hymn to the life-giving trinity now lay aside all cares of life. 
let us who mystically represent the cherubim and sing the thrice holy hymn to the life-giving trinity now lay aside all cares of life let us who mystically represent the cherubim and sing the thrice holy hymn to the life-giving trinity now lay aside all cares of life May the Lord God remember in his kingdom our most holy universal pontiff, Francis Pope of Rome, our most blessed major bishop, Sviatoslav Mosram, Metropolitan Lawrence, and God David Bishop David, our very Reverend Fathers, Protrachem Andrad Genesio, Protum and Gabriel, Human Seraphim, all priests, Yakum, religious orders, our nation under God, our government, and all the military. The noble and ever to be remembered founders and benefactors of this holy church and all you, Orthodox Christians, always, now, and forever and ever. Amen. Amen. That we may receive the King of all, escorted invisibly by ranks of angels. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Let us complete our prayer to the Lord. Lord, Lord have mercy. For the precious gift that can be presented, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. For this holy church and for all who entered with faith, reverence, and fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy that we may be delivered from all tribulation, wrath, and misfortune. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have God. mercy. Lord God Almighty, holy and holy, accept the sacrifice of praise from those who call upon you with all their hearts. Accept also the petitions of us sin sinners, bring them to the holy altar, and enable us to offer you gifts and spiritual sacrifices for our sins, from the sins of ignorance of the people. Make us worthy to find favor with you, so that our sacrifice may be acceptable to you. And so that the good spirit of your grace may rest upon us upon this gift present before us and upon all the people. Through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with the most holy, good, life giving Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace be with all. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Let us love one another so that we may be one mind in confession. The, the Father, Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the, the Trinity, Trinity, one in being and undivided. undivided. The doors... <laughs> the doors of wisdom, let us be attentive. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, one in being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By, By the, the power, power of the Holy Spirit, Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered, died, and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us stand well, let us stand with fear, let us be attentive to offer in peace the holy oblation. The, the mercy of peace, the sacrifice of praise. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. We have lifted them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord. 
it is right, right and just to worship the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the Trinity, one in being and undivided. It is right and just to sing of you, to bless you, to pray, to praise you, to wor thank you, to worship you everywhere in your domain. <coughs> For you are God, ineffable, inconceivable, invisible, incomprehensible, always existing and ever the same. You and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. You brought us from nothingness into being, and after we fell, you raised us up again. You do not cease doing everything until you let us to have it and grant it as a future kingdom. For all this we give thanks to you, to your only begotten Son and to your Holy Spirit, for all things which you know did not know, the benefits bestowed upon us, both manifest and hidden. We thank you also for this liturgy, which you have done to accept from our hands, even though there stand before, before you thousands of archangels, ten to thousands of angels, the cherubim and seraphim, six being many, I am hovering aloft on their wings. Singing, crying, exclaiming, and saying the triumphal hymn. Holy, 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 Lord of Sabbath, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. With this blessed power of Sumasal, who love mankind, we took it out and say, Holy are you truly, all holy, you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. Holy are you truly, all holy, and magnificent is your glory. You so love your world as to give your only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him may not perish, but might have eternal life. After he had come and fulfilled the whole done plan for our sake, on the night he was given over, or rather he gave himself for the life of the world. He took bread into his holy, most pure and immaculate hand, gave thanks, blessed, sanctified, and broken. He gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take it, this is my body, which is broken for you for the forgiveness of sins. Amen. Let me under the cup after the supper, saying, Drink of it, all of you. <clears throat> this is my blood of the new covenant, which is poured out for you and for many. For the forgiveness of sins. Amen. Remember, remembering therefore the salutary commandment all was done for us. The cross, the tomb, the resurrection of the third day, the ascension into heaven, the city of the right hand, and the second and glorious come. We offer to you yours of your own in behalf of all and for all. We sing of you, we bless you, we, we thank, thank you, O Lord, Lord, and we pray to you, our, our God. God. May this bread, the precious body of your Christ, amen. And the which is this chalice, the precious blood of your Christ, amen. Changing them by your Holy Spirit, amen, amen, amen. So that they, maybe for the, maybe for the communica sobriety of soul, forgiveness of sins, fellowship of your Holy Spirit, performer of the kingdom of heaven for confidence before you, not for judgment or condemnation. Further, we offer you this rational worship for, the, for those who have gone to their rest in faith, for fathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and for every righteous soul that finished this life in faith. Especially for most holy and immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Mother of God and ever Virgin Mary. It is truly right to bless you, O God bearing one, as the ever blessed and immaculate Mother of our God, more honorable than the cherubim, and by far more glorious than the seraphim. Ever a virgin, you gave birth to God the Word. O true Mother of God, we magnify you. Among the first, remember, O Lord, our most holy universal pontiff, Francis Pope of Rome, our most blessed major bishop, Sviatoslav, Mosram, Metropolitan, Lawrence of God, David, Bishop David. For the sake of your holy church, has granted them a living peace, safety, honor, and health for many years, and rightly part of the word of your truth. And remember all men and all women. Remember, O Lord, the city in which you live, and every city and country, the faithful who live in them. Remember, O Lord, the suffering travelers, the sick and the suffering, those held captive in their salvation. Remember, O Lord, those who bear fruit doing good works in the holy churches, and remembering the poor, send your mercy upon all of us, and grant that with one voice and one heart, we may glorify and sing the praises of your most honored and magnificent name. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And may the mercies of great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with all of you. And with your spirit. Have you remembered all the saints? Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the precious gift which can be presented and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That our loving God, who has received them as a spiritual fragments, 
upon his holy, heavenly, and mystical altar. May Sudan on us in return his divine grace in the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. That we may be delivered from all tribulation, wrath, and misfortune. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. We place before you our whole life in hope, loving Master. We ask, we pray, we entreat you, make us worthy to protect with the pure conscience of the autumn and heavenly mysteries. At this sacred spiritual table, for forgiveness of sins, for the pardon of offenses, for fellowship of the Holy Spirit, for the inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, for confidence before you, not for judgment or condemnation. Help and save, have mercy and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, Lord have mercy. Though this whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For the forgiveness and remission of our sins and offenses, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For all that is good and beneficial for souls, and for peace for the world, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. That we may spend the rest of our lives in peace and repentance, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For our creation and to our lives when it is painless and ashamed and peaceful, and for the good defense of the awesome tribunal of Christ, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Having us the unity of the faith for the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves one another in our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. Make us worthy, O Master, with confidence without condemnation. To dare call you the heavenly God, Father, and say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Peace be with all and, and with, with your spirit. Bow your heads to the Lord. To you, O Lord. We give you thanks for this, became for the infinite power. You created all things, and in your great mercy brought all things from nothingness into being. Look down from heaven, O Master, upon those who bow their heads to you. For they have not bound them to flesh and blood, but to you, the awesome God. Therefore, O Master, make smooth the ways of love before us all, for our good and in accord with each one's personal need. Sell with Sifur, travel with travelers, heal the sick, or physician to all souls and bodies. Through the grace, mercies, loving kindness of the only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with the most holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Attend, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, from the Holy Dwelling, from the throne of glory in your kingdom and country, sanctify us. You who are seated on high with the Father and are invisibly present, keep with us. Then to give to us with the mighty hand, you must provide your precious blood and through us to the Lord. God be merciful to me, a sinner. God be merciful to me, a sinner. God be merciful to me, a sinner. Let us be attentive to the holy things for the holy. One is holy, one is Lord, Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Blessed be God, who has not turned away my prayer, nor his mercy from me. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. I believe, O Lord, and confess that you are truly Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners of whom I am first. Accept me this day, O Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper. I will not tell the mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss to the Judas, but like the thief I confess to you. Remember me, O Lord, when you come into your kingdom. Remember me, O Master, when you come into your kingdom. Remember me, O Holy One, when you come into your kingdom. May the partaking of your holy mysteries, O Lord, be unto me not for judgment or condemnation, but for the healing of soul and body. God, be merciful to me, a sinner. God, cleanse me of my sins and have mercy on me. I have sinned without number. Forgive me, O Lord. Approach with the fear of God and with faith. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. God the Lord has appeared to us.
Save your people, O Lord, and bless your inheritance. We have seen the true light. We have received the heavenly spirit. We have found the true faith. We worship the undivided trinity for having saved us. Blessed be our God. Always, now, and forever, and ever. Amen. May our mouths be filled with your praise, O Lord, that we may sing of your glory. For you made us worthy to partake of your holy, divine, immortal, and life-giving mysteries. Preserve us in your holiness, that we may meditate all the day upon your justice. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Stand upright, have received the divine, holy, immaculate, immortal, heavenly, life-giving, awesome mysteries of Christ. Let us rightly give thanks to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help and save her mercy and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Having asked that this whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ, our God. To you, O Lord. We thank you, O Master, lover, O mankind, and benefactor of our souls, that even today may thus worthy of the heavenly and immortal mysteries. May strike our path, make us all firm in fear of you, protect our lives, and secure our steps through the prayers and supplications of the glorious Mother of God and ever Virgin Mary and of all your saints. For you are our sanctification, we give glory to you. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. In the name of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. You bless those who bless you, O Lord, and sanctify those who trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the fullness of your church, sanctify those who love the beauty of your house, and glorify them by your divine power. Do not forsake us, who hope in your grand peace to your world, to your churches, to the priests, to our nation under God, to our government, and to all your people. For all good given and every perfect gift is from above. Come in from you, the Father of lights, if we give glory, thanks, and worship to you. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord, now and forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord, now and forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord, now and forever. The blessing of the Lord be upon you, with his grace and love for mankind, always, now and forever and ever. Amen. Glory be to you, Christ, our God, our hope. Glory be to you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Give the blessing. Christ, our true God, through the prayers of his Immaculate Mother, by the power of the precious and life-given cross, through the protection of the honorable heavenly and corporeal powers, of the honorable and glorious prophet, forander and baptized John, of the holy, glorious, and all praiseworthy apostles, of our Father among the Saint Nicholas, Archbishop Wanderwarka of Mera in Lycia, of the holy, glorious, and triumphant martyrs, of our venerable and godly fathers, of our Father among the saints, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, 
of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Annas and Basil the Great, and of all the saints will have mercy and save us, for he is good and loves mankind. Amen. <clears throat> Blessed be our God, always, now and forever and ever. Amen. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and forever and ever, amen. Trinity most holy, have mercy on us. Cleanse us of our sins, O Lord. Pardon our transgressions, O Master. Look upon our weaknesses and heal them, O Holy One, for the sake of your name. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and forever and ever, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. We, the just spirits who have reached their end, give repose to the souls of your servants, O Savior, keeping them in the happiness of life in your presence. O you who love mankind, in your abode, O Lord, where all your saints repose, Give rest also to the souls of your servants, for you alone love man of mankind. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. You are the God who went down into Hades, and loose the chains of those in bondage. Also to the souls of your servants, O Savior, give repose. Now and forever and ever, amen. Only chaste and immaculate virgin, who gave birth to God with thee, intercede before him in the salvation of their souls. Have mercy on us, O God, in the greatest of your compassion. We pray, hear us, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We also pray for the repose of the soul of the servant of God, Don, who has fallen asleep, and for the forgiveness of his offenses, voluntary and involuntary. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. That the Lord God may place his soul with all the just repose. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Let us ask Christ, our immortal our King and our God, for the mercy of God, for the kingdom of heaven and for the forgiveness of his sins. Grant this, O Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. 
God of spirit and altar flesh, and you trample death, you made the devil powerless, and you gave life to your world. Now, O Lord, to the soul of your servant, don't who has fallen asleep, grant rest in a place of light, a place of virgin, a place of tranquility, from which pain, sorrow, and mourning have fled. As the good and loving God forgive every sin of thought, word, or deed he has committed. There is no one who will live and will not sin, for you alone are sinless. Your justice is everlasting justice, and your word is truth. For you, Christ our God, are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your servant, Don, who has fallen asleep. And we give glory to you together with the eternal Father, in your most holy, good, life-giving spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Wisdom. More honorable than the cherubim, and by far more glorious than the seraphim. Ever a virgin you gave birth to God the Word. O true Mother of God, we magnify you. Glory be to you, Christ our God, our hope. Glory be to you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Give the blessing. Christ, our true God, who has power over the living and the dead, through the praise of his Immaculate Mother, of the holy glories and all praiseworthy apostles, of our venerable and godly fathers, and of all the saints, we place the soul of his servant Don, who has departed from us, in the abode of the just, and will give him rest in the abode of Abraham, and number him among the just, and will have mercy on us, for he is good and loves mankind. Amen. May our Lord and God, Jesus Christ, who has given his divine authority to his holy disciples and apostles to bind and to lose the sins of the fallen, and from whom in turn we have received the obligation to do likewise. Forgive your spiritual child on whatever sins you have committed in your life, the limit of the human frailty, now and forever and ever. Amen. Amen. In blessed sleep, grant eternal rest, O Lord, to you ever to be remembered, servant Don, and make his memory everlasting, which now ya pamya. Which now pamya. Which now pamya. Which now pamya. This your Okay. Again, thank you for coming for this liturgy. Yeah, see you soon in the cemetery, right? Yeah. Okay, Slava Jesus Christ.